everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at my home in Zoodesia Zoo and I am so excited because today is another hour long Saturday special and hopefully we can get a lot done because oh my gosh I am so ready to get more exhibits added and more things done in the zoo and more animals put in but as we know by now there's so much to do in the zoo and it is a long term project to be able to build everything. And speaking of building things today, the goal really is, eh, well, I'll tell you while I gather up, hello Nightlock, some of our essence, essence berries, essential berries, essence berries, good breakfast. Always got to enjoy a good hearty breakfast of chase light creepers, essence berries, and yes, if you mouse over it, the con concentrated essence berries, which give you experience points, do taste like creeper. So, nice little dusty flavor, kind of like eating chalky blackberries, I'd say. But yeah, our goal today is actually to go and work on our Con Confucianaurus or our Confucius bird exhibit. And eventually I might be able to figure out how to say that word correctly. But we're going to go work on that exhibit. And to work on it, we need to go and gather up lots of plants. So we need to go get a whole bunch of tropical rainforesty plants because that is the kind of, um, like the late Cretaceous period is when those adorable little birds. Can we see? Oh, look, you can see just the top of our little aviary from here. That is so cool. But they were around during the late Confucius period, or late, see, now I'm mixing up the seas. Late Cretaceous period. There we go. They were around during then, and they managed to get um, pretty, pretty populous. Like, they usually were in large groups, and I've heard that our little one is going to lay eggs when she grows up, just like the dodos do. So there is hope. There is hope, even though we have not yet analyzed the right biofossil to be able to find more Confucius bird DNA. Oh, darling, mwah, good morning. I can see the beautiful green eyes you have just there, darling. But even though we have not analyzed the right DNA in order to get more Confucius bird embryos, we have managed to get at least the one. And she should be able to lay an egg on her own and we'll gather up those eggs over time and hopefully be able to get more of them. So we can start a nice big flock and name them after philosophers because that would be amazing. All right, hello, Lab Chicken in Experiment 626. Yesterday, I took the biofossils that we found on the puppies and threw them in here. So I just want to see if we're lucky before we go down to her exhibit today and manage to find anything. Yay, stone tablet. All right, uh, that would be under archaeological discoveries. I'll put that away. Let's go ahead and sift the sand. Ooh, pottery shards. I'm going to throw the sand back into the sifter. <gasps> plant fossils, yay! Oh, let's analyze these too. Maybe we'll have more plant fossils to take down with us. Yes, more plant fossils when we go to visit the little one. So, ooh, wow. I wonder if they upped how many plant fossils you can get from the sand now. Oh, getting coal. <laughs> At least we can trade coal. We can trade coal to our villagers in uh, Zomberry Village. So there's a perk. All right, I'm going to put the bone meal up here because it turns out, you remember the Fusa plant that we managed to make yesterday? Or I guess a couple days ago. Whoops. The Fusia? It yeah, the Fusia plant, we can actually apparently use bone meal on it and it will replicate itself. So we can put a whole bunch of these around our little Confucius bird exhibit. But, oh, Dionysus and Plesiosaurus DNA, still not quite what we're looking for, but getting close. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! You're kidding! We finally have it! Oh my goodness, you guys! Here's another DNA! Here's another DNA! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's put this away. I need to go and get some milk. Professor Cowplant the third! Professor Caplet the third. Oh, I just realized we have a special mod in called the Da Vinci mod that gives you like um, chisels and things like that. In fact, I think was that the chisel? Oh, oh I'm so I'm so excited now because all these ideas are just flourishing. But I can't remember gravestone chisel. It might be the carpenter's chisel. No. Well, we have a special new mod in called the Da Vinci mod, and I could probably actually make a real cow plant from The Sims out of that Da Vinci mod, and that would be amazing. So I might work on that in the future. All right. Pardon me, Professor Cow Plant. I need a little bit of this milk. Then we're going to run in here. I cannot believe. I thought we were just going to get more sand, but we actually got one of the little Confucius bird DNAs. So these guys, late Cretaceous period, from what I've been uh, reading, and so they had a lot of angiosperm. They had a few flowering plants. So we could put in a few of the gorgeous flowering rainforest plants, but primarily we're going to be filling their exhibit up with uh, like trees that they can jump up on and fly off of, because they apparently love flying. 
and a lot of ferns. So we're going to be looking for a ton of ferns and a ton of, let's see if I can find a good example. Like here's a whole bunch of the ferns we'll be adding in. Ooh, look at the little ancient fern. It's so cute. And we might, we might actually make some large ferns with some bone meal on the small ferns. You guys had that great idea. Really awesome. I think that would work wonderfully. And then I'm trying to remember plant. There should be like cone, coniferous sort of plants. Um, so like the ferns with a cone in the center, they were also pretty common during this time. The palmentos, those kinds of things, they're not entirely accurate for what you would have seen, but they get pretty close to mimicking the natural environment that these birds apparently lived in. And again, this is just off of the research I've been reading. So it's really cool because they just analyzed some of their DNA and have figured out that the Confucius birds were like white and gray with brown modeling, kind of like a tabby cat is as it was explained in the paper. So torch lilies, they kind of are what I'm thinking of. You want to have that cone shape flower or that cone shaped bulb and then you want sort of fern or frond leaves on the plants so kind of like the mezzeron but not entirely more like the cone headed like this guy the cone headed guzmania uh would be a good one ah like the palm lily the madagascar palms getting a little bit closer like if they if they if everybody had like the cone head that's more what we're going for for pro providing the plants that would be accurate to this little guy's environment do we have a little embryo? <gasps> we have a little baby embryo. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Another one, another one. Well, we might as well get some more embryos going while we're in here. Professor Cowplant, may I have more milk, please? I really should just, like, get more buckets, huh? Do I have more buckets? I have a water bucket. I've been bad about my buckets lately. I guess I should be keeping buckets down here all the time. All right, is there a bucket in here? Nope. All right, why don't we just go ahead and throw a plesiosaur in here? Let's go for it. Why not? There we go. We can go get more milk. First thing in the morning. Oh, it's so exciting. Very first thing in the morning, and we're working with the tiny little baby embryos. And my happy chickens are running everywhere. I love my lab chickens. I need to get them. I need to talk to our awesome Alex and Raptafarian, because they're our two main creators. Whoops, that's not where the milk goes. There are two main creators of skins, and maybe get the lab chickens, like tiny little lab suits. I think that would be good. Just like uh, Professor Cowplant and free Assistant Freezer Bunny right here have some suits. And Bella actually could use a suit and some goggles because we need to build her chemistry laboratory. In fact, that needs to go on my list. I'm helpless without my list. You guys know this by now. There's so much to do that I need my list desperately all the time to be able to, uh, to be able to keep track of everything. We no longer have to repair our armor and we already have the, the washing machine set up in case that ever happens again. But, and the animal trap with Hopper didn't work. <laughs> we tried it out. It didn't work. We still have to figure that out, but we should set up, set up trader for, uh, set up. I guess we just need to type in like, um, zombie jerky trader. So somebody that we can trade zombie jerky to in exchange for fresh meat. So we're talking about building a village, uh, since we have so many amazing zoo crafters now, building a village that we all contribute to by building different market stalls and building like little samples, like a tiny little exhibit of what would be available in Zudestia. Like one small greenhouse to represent like, hey, if you come to Zudestia, you can see this kind of stuff on a large scale. And we could all build like market stalls and uh, NPC buildings and other things that we think the whole community will need. So I think putting somebody in that can trade for meat so that our dogs can eat more than just the zombie jerky, probably a good idea. And I also need to get uh, Bella's chemistry lab set up because we're going to have so many cool things for her little chemistry lab. In fact, if you look, she can actually have a chemistry set. Look at that. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? Wouldn't that be so freaking cute? We need to make it out of the DecoCraft crafting clay. So lots of things to do in the future, but we'll get there. How's our little bird? <gasps> egg! 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 A new egg! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, jeez Louise! Oh, that scared the bedoodles out of me. You're, you're suffocating in a wall, sir. Do I have... I, I'm sorry. I didn't move quickly enough. Oh, the bedoodles were scared right out of me. Oh my gosh. Well, we have the plesiosaur DNA back. 
Oh, my little heart. Oh, my little heart. And we have our new bird. So, oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, I gotta recover. Like, I gotta lay down and, like, <gasps> like panic, panic, panic. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. All right, so Mosasaurus and Spinosaurus DNA as well. So even more DNA to add to the chamber, which is totally awesome. I wasn't even wearing my armor, so that was, that was pretty good. I didn't get hurt. <gasps> Look at this! Lycolo Lycopodophyta. Hmm, spores, which, let's see. There we go. <gasps> Look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, let's put this in the analyzer. I need more milk. Professor Cowplant, victory! Even though we were so unsuccessful last time, we have already managed to get uh, a new plant. And we have managed to get another one of the adorable little guys. So let me put this in here. And then where's my little plant? Oh, did I leave it in here? Whoops. All right, now we're going to come over here and put this guy in here and see how that works out. And I'm going to actually put these palm trees because they're a little bit big for what I'm thinking about in here with, oh, I guess we could put some ancient ferns in. Maybe, huh. I kind of want to go for like the other kinds of ferns that we have in Plant Mega Pack for just now. All right, I'm gonna put this away. And then actually, while we wait for the plant to finish, I'm gonna take just a second and come up with a philosopher name <laughs> Darling is sleeping or else I would ask him because he is a philosophy major um, among his many majors. And so let's see, a new philosopher. Well, I'm going to look up a cool philosopher to name this new one really quickly. So hang on a second. Yay, I have a name. Okay, so we have a new name for a philosopher. And look at the adorable little tiny, <gasps> tiny itty bitty plant. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute as it grows. But we have a name for a brand new philosopher, uh, Arit. So Arit is actually a female philosopher, and she is credited with having like written 40 books. She taught for 35 years the natural philosophies, uh, I think in Rome, maybe? I'm, I've got to think about this. I don't know if it was the Greeks or the Romans, which is really bad because there's a huge difference between the two. Oh, I can hear the cats purring upstairs. Thank you, Ben, for he has given our cats sound again. But yeah, Arit is actually a name of a female philosopher from way back when. There we go. And it sounds beautiful. So you're going to be Arit. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's come back down here. I really need to cover this block up. Do I have anything? Anything? That's so embarrassing. Hang on. Like, I, I let this go on for too long. You let the small things add up over time, and the next thing you know, you have a messy house. Uh-oh. Dang it! All right, well, I'll have to go down and catch that one in just a second, too. All right, one, two, three, four. Should be all I need to block that off. And that broke two of my cultivation things. But you know what? We got some very important items out of it. Things that we haven't had for a while. All right. I can deal with this. Pigment Fern, you're so awesome. I need to come and spend time with you. There's always so much to do in the zoo. All right. I feel like I can never get anything done. But you guys are so awesome and patient about it. All right, let's see. What do we have in here? Little Philosaurus, huh? Well, I got a little single-use safari net I can use on the little Philosaurus. <gasps> no! It was my plant! My plant failed! What? And it, like, blew up half of my wall. Oh my gosh. That's kind of a dramatic fail. It wasn't just a little bit of a fail. It blew out half my wall. <laughs> and we now have a failure plant. Oh, that is so cool. Can I see what it looks like? <gasps> you guys, look at it. It's the coolest little alien plant. Oh, just imagine if one day, after we do all of the dinosaurs and all of the modern day plants and, and animals and all those things, if we expand to Galacticraft and start doing aliens, I would totally be into doing aliens. That would be so cool. Look at it. It's changing colors. <gasps> Let's keep it down here. I'm actually going to keep it right over there. It can be a little bit of a decorative item. Lab chicken seems fascinated with it. It kind of looks like it has an eyeball, which is really creepy. But I'm going to ignore that fact. All right, we've got another little egg. I guess I need to cultivate the plant again, dang it. Because I really want to take it down to the exhibit. Um, so let's try one more time. And if this doesn't work, we will move on, for there is much work to do in the zoo. And I want to go visit Ben's place after we check in on our little bird and see how he has set up the Confucius Birds exhibits. All right, in you go. I guess I can work on repairing this while we wait. So, okay, don't have a Felsaurus. Arit is going to be ready pretty soon. So excited. Arit is such a beautiful name. 
Let's go make two new cultivators. Pardon me, chickens. I still need to build the multi-fruit tree down here, too. All right, let's climb up here. I love the, the mix of laboratory work and other kinds of work that we constantly have uh, going, going, going in our zoo. I like keeping busy. All right, cultivator. Cultivator vat. We need a water bucket, glass, cactus greens, iron ingots. All right, well, I know I've got the glass. So let's go ahead and grab that. And do I have the cactus greens? Got plenty of cactus greens. And I think I need a little bit more iron. So let's go ahead and grab the iron. And water bucket, water bucket, water bucket. Uh, gotcha. All right, and I have a little sink right here. Do I use up the water bucket in its creation? I don't remember. I think I do. So I'll have to make more. All right, I just need two more. So we'll go ahead. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There's one. Oh, I got my water bucket back. That's awesome. Come over here. And there's two. There we go. So we now have our new, new vats, new culture vats. No need to worry. That was easy peasy. See how easy it is when I know where everything is and where we actually have the materials. Can get our zoo built so quickly that way. Uh, anything else I need to put away? Maybe the coal? Why am I putting all my coal in here? That is my first piece of normal coal. Because <laughs> the other types of coal from rock hounding do different amounts of torches. Some give you more than normal coal, some give you less. Alright, let's come down here. And let's go ahead and replace this. So there we go. And there we go. Oh, there's a fossil in the wall. There's some irony for you. There's a fossil in the biofossil wall. Well, let's go ahead and grab Fossil Finder and get it. Oh my gosh, there's fossils in the wall. <laughs> That's so funny. There's fossils in the wall of our, our biofossil room. All right, well, I'm going to gather them up. Oh my gosh, there's lots of them. Look at how cool that was. Oh my goodness. All right, and then we'll go ahead and gonna casually, like, don't mind me. <laughs> Just made a big hole in my wall. <laughs> it's worth it. That's like when you're an archaeologist and you, like, discover by accident that you happen to have some sort of rare thing under under the floor of your house. There was actually a guy who found out that he had like a 2,000 year old uh, ancient bath under the floor of his house in Jerusalem, I think like that, just recently, while he was doing kitchen renovations. And apparently it's this huge, vitally important, rare archaeological site, so everyone's super excited about it. But I thought that was pretty funny. He didn't even know, and he's just like trying to change the linoleum out in his kitchen. So at one point, somebody knew that that stuff was there, and they just decided not to do anything about it. All right, let's put this little one away in the egg chamber. And some of you guys are split, so let me know what you think. I do have uh, screenshots of the eggs that we had in the old egg chamber back in the old world. But some of you say, no, 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 just start fresh. Start fresh with all these eggs. So do you want me to add in the old eggs, or do you want me just to stick with the new eggs that we bring in and kind of just keep our, our fresh start going? I'm, I'm okay with either, to be honest. All right, so how's this going? <gasps> okay, I won't stay here forever and just collect plant fossils, but oh my gosh, that's so exciting. We're getting many, many more plant fossils than we were before. And I'm going to analyze these suckers. If nothing else, it's a very inconvenient yet interesting way to collect coal. All right, I'm going to put this little thing away. There we go. And we're not analyzing anything I'm too worried about. I still have an elephant. I need to take care of that. And a werewolf. So at least we can put this werewolf away. Dun 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 That's our chameleon. I would love... There we go. So we have four werewolves and some baby zombies. So much to do in the zoo. So much to do in the zoo. And I should have a plant any second now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh my gosh, there's some sriracha seeds. Well, I've got, I've had srirachas before, so I will hang on on making those guys. But we have more progress. All right, any second now, we'll have this new little Lyco seed plant that we can go and put in with our beautiful Confucius birds, who will have a kind of tropical-y ferny exhibit more than anything else there you go little spores there we go and look at that our little failure plant is so cool 
All right, so let's finally go upstairs and we'll get outside and we're gonna get to work. I hear you, Pikmin Fern. Let me see, do I need anything else? I think right now we're just gonna go down, check on our bird, add in the new one, and then we'll go over and visit Ben's exhibit. So we'll see how he is doing. I do wanna take some of the dogs with us though. Iris, Ash, Alia, guess what? You're the lucky trio again. I've got some food for you. All right, and you've been eating your chicken, good. I'm gonna have to go, oh man. I'm going to have to go and sit in front of the zombie spawner again for a while. Trying to feed these guys. I cannot wait till I get some markets set up. It's going to be so much easier. Alright, let's come on down. Astro Seed, where do you think you're going? Hmm? Hmm? Where do you think you're going? You need to stay with Sunflower. Astro Seed? Astro Seed? And there we go. And the Safari Net. There we go. There you go, Sunflower. I've returned your mate to you. He's wandering away. Okay, Alia, no sudden movements, please. Oh my gosh, let's get down before, like, the dogs decide to plummet. Dang it! What did I just say, you guys? Oh, I hope they're okay. They'll be alright, because they'll follow us down in just a second. Alright, let's run this way, and turn around. Alia! Alia! Oh my gosh, Alia! Here, sit for just a second. Sit and rest for just a second. And, okay, you two sit and rest too, because I'm going to gather up the wild rice, because it's very, very important. Don't question. Don't question why. But it's absolutely essential that I collect the wild rice whenever we come by, because I love it. All right, I'm going to put this down. We're actually getting, like, a lot more wild rice as time goes on, because it's propagating, which I think is really cool. So, yeah, I mean, look how much more we have. It's like we have a little tiny rice patty getting started. I love it. Wouldn't this be so cool to turn into a little rice patty? That would be so fun. All right, Alia, I'm going to have to keep an eye on you, sweetheart, because you're taking the hits. But we'll have you rest when we get to the Confucius bird exhibit for just a minute. All right, so let's go and check on if Confucius has been doing well. And now Confucius will have a new playmate. And that means twice the number of eggs, and that means more birdies in there. Oh, that's so exciting. <gasps> There's an egg! You guys! Confucius has grown up and laying eggs! Where is it? Where are you? Are you over here? There's Alia. Here's this thing. I'm going to get these herbs out of here just so they don't spread everywhere and cause issues. <gasps> I heard him. Did you hear him? <gasps> oh my gosh, look! Oh, that's the most beautiful thing. Oh, you need little trees, don't you, little one? You need some little trees to be in. Oh my gosh, isn't that glorious? Look at this, you guys. I am so 100% in love with these guys. Oh, I really am. Oh my goodness. All right, let's hatch our new little one and have a new friend for Confucius flying around. We definitely need to give them some some more trees, some more places to like roost and set down now that I see how they're moving around. So definitely very, very area, like areabatic, area, oh, hey dogs. <laughs> very much into aerial flight is what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, look at him. I am so in love with these guys. Okay, so new baby, new baby. to follow the other one. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh my gosh. Alia, I wish you would teleport in here. Oh my goodness. This is precious beyond belief. There we go. Hi guys. Oh look at the baby follow the other one. Oh my goodness. You two are so adorable. Oh my goodness. Yep, yep, I'm in love. The love is so real. So real. Okay, let's see. Let's get down these spores and see how this guy looks. Because I definitely... Oh, I like him! I definitely need to spruce this area up. Kind of, I think we'll clear out the current plants, more or less. Other than the ferns. I'll try to collect up some of the ferns. And then we'll start planning what we're going to put in here. Because I definitely think some leaves and some of the plants are very important. Also, let me get out here and have the dog sit down real fast. Alright, puppies, come here. Come here, Alia. I really want you to sit down and focus on feeling better. Because you fell out of Sunflower's tree, which is really quite a dramatic, dramatic way to do things. And Iris, I think, wants to stay with me. Ash, stay with your sister. 
Well, you're like cousin. It's complicated. All right, and then Iris, do you want some food too? There you go. All right, you go ahead and sit down while I work. And let's go ahead and just kind of clear this area out a wee bit and start fresh. What I would really love to do is I need to get my hands on some glowstone and we'll light this area up with glowstone rather than with um, all the torches. Just doesn't seem very safe for the animals among many other things. All right, we'll destroy those. Probably the small grass can actually stay. I just kind of want to take away some of the things that feel a little bit messier. I think we'll go ahead and replace the mycelium with dirt as well. Hi, baby. Oh, what did I just pick up? Unhold sticky rice. What? I can make sticky rice with it. <gasps> sticky rice is so yummy. That is so awesome. I love how many unknown plants there are. It's like our, our land. All right, look at you. Is just filled with so many unexplored botanical glories. Let's see, do I have anything? <gasps> Look, we have oak leaves in here, thank goodness. All right, so let's use some oak leaves and some oak wood in here to just start setting things up. Do I have any dirt in here? Hmm, no dirt. That's okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, we definitely need to give these guys somewhere where they can land and feel secure. So, whoops, that is the wrong direction to put the little, the little thing I'm trying to put in here. So I want to put, like, a very small tree because they seem to like flying up here. So let's go ahead and make like a tiny little little tree thing up here maybe. Hello little one. Whoops. Let me go ahead and scoot that down a little bit. I want to have places for them to land is what I'm going for. Oh hi! Oh look at the baby! Arita's is just following Confucius everywhere. That is the cutest thing. All right, so let's do like this. So then they can land like up there or they can climb under. I like it. I like it. And we'll do the same thing over here. And now I'm out of leaves. But that, that is the beginning of what their exhibit's going to be like. I'm so excited to be working on their exhibit. Okay, all right, let's see. What next? We do have the ferns and everything. But like I said, let's finish removing. Oh, look at them. Look at them. I wish they would hold still for a second. They're just so cute. Let's go ahead and remove the mushrooms for now. I feel like the swamp cypress we could probably do a little bit better with. Something a little better. All right, there we go. Looking good. Look at her. Look at her follow the adult. Oh, that's so precious. Um, Kind of going back and forth on this moss, actually. So I'm going to yank it up. All right, let's see. How's it looking now? Pretty good, other than the fact there's torches freaking everywhere. Ugh. We'll have to clean that up. All right, let's put these away, wild rice away, all of this away. And next up, oh, 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 let's try hatching the egg. Okay, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. New baby? Dang it, no new baby. <gasps> There's another egg though. Oh, thank you so much, Confucius. New baby? Ah, no new baby. All right, so they have basically the same chance of hatching, I think, as the, well, I don't know if they hatch from those eggs, so we'll have to see, but I would imagine they would have the same chance as the dodos, and the dodos have the same chance as the chickens, so it's like 1 in 16 or 1 in 10 or something like that chance of hatching into more babies. So we'll keep an eye on that, and now we're going to go over to some of the ferns I've left around, and we're going to smack them with bone meal. Ta-da! Sparkle, sparkle fern! Sparkle, sparkle fern! I'm tempted to call that, like, today is sparkle, sparkle fern day. Oh my gosh, look at it. Arita, are you trying to learn how to fly? That is so precious. Alright, so we can put, like, nice ferns. Oh, I like that. They look so much nicer when they're big like this. And then, let's just gather up. Man, I, I feel so picky. But this is setting up an animal's home. I should be picky about it. And look at this. I feel like this guy matches really well. And if I hit him with bone meal... Oh, man. If I hit him with bone meal, nothing happens! Really? Ah! I just made a huge mess in here, too. I got some swamp cypress, though. So we might gather up some swamp cypress from this biome and give it to Alex as a present. I mean, he lives in the swamp. But I know he, he appreciates a good plant. All right, there we go. So yeah, it looks like we might have to manually collect a lot of ferns. Um, I'm gonna put just a few more big ones. They they cover like they really are good at covering a lot of ground. All right, there we go. There we go. Maybe a couple more over here. 
Oh, so cute. Oh, Eat, you're adorable. I am so in love with you. All right, what about you? Can I smack you with a bone meal? <gasps> so it works on this guy. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Now we have a whole bunch of these guys, the Fusias. Um, do they match with our theme? I actually think they might be a little dark for what we're going to go for eventually. But they're perfect, and it's so exciting to know we can, we can replicate these in the future. Ooh. Yeah, I think we might go more for the lighter colored ferns, but it's good to know that we can replicate the Fusias. So until I have anything to put over there, I'll just kind of leave them here, but we'll probably move them out in the future. All right, so let's see. What do we have left? I don't have anything in my backpacks because we've kind of been trying to hold off on getting anything until... Uh... Oh, I do have a piece of dirt. We've been trying to hold off on getting anything until I knew what they needed. Oh, I love that. All right, but I can definitely come in here at least. Do, 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 do. And replace, oh, duh. When we break it like this, it turns into dirt. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then put the dirt back and it'll change into grass. I think that's more appropriate for what we're trying to go for in this biome. There we go. Oh, and don't worry guys, I know not all dinosaurs are in jungles or things like that. So when we put our dinosaurs in, don't expect it to be like, I'll, I'll try to change the biomes. I don't know if we have biome wands. I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. So I'll be changing it with biome wands, don't worry. But these guys are going to live in a temperate forest exhibit because they can and because it's beautiful. <laughs> it's as simple as that. All right, and you know what? Actually, I'm going to remove these guys. They just don't feel like the right color. But I'm glad we know how to replicate them, and they'll be available for future animals. So that makes me happy. All right, I'm going to put them away and these guys away. Hmm. I think that's all I can do in here for now. Oh, look, there's a skeleton coming to try to eat us. Um. Well, yeah, I think that's all we'll do in here for now. And we'll go and see how Ben has his exhibit laid out for his beautiful Confucius birds and then we'll kind of see if there's anything we want to replicate or anything that I think might really be beneficial for their care and we'll move on from there but all right there we go good 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 look at you you're absolutely precious I love you Arit I love you too um I sort of want to remove this but we won't until I have finished decorating everything can I put the ivy on the glass oh, I can't I can put it on the walls though ta-da Ooh, I wonder if I could put it... Can I put ivy up on the sides? Or maybe some vines on the sides of the mushroom? Oh, <gasps> I can! Oh, let's alternate. Let's do, like, vines, vines, vines. And then let's do some ivy on the other side. Ivy, ivy, ivy. Oh, so pretty. That's fun. Hello, Confucius! You're amazing! Alright, just be safe. Alright, let's grab Iris. And Ash and Alia, who's feeling better, thank goodness. Oh, I see you. I really need to make a bow. That's going on the to-do list. Ouch. Ooh, he gave me his golden helmet. <laughs> oh, right in the forehead. Look at that. that. That has to take off a few IQ points. All right, let's go ahead and gather up this herb garden section. Just so it doesn't spread all over the place. I'm feeling more comfortable with actually taking the herb gardens down lately. And let's keep going. Ooh, mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. Mushroom soup will be one of my specialties. And the only reason I'm grabbing all this stuff is just because it's on the way. Our zoo feeds us just as well as, like, it feeds the animals and takes care of everybody. Any more wild rice? <gasps> Almost. Is it, is it done? Oh, some of it's done. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Dogs, dang it. You're going to gather up all my wild rice plants. I know you are. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. You stole my wild rice. Puppies. I love you guys. But now I have to, like, open up your inventory because I know some of you stole my wild rice. Iris. Okay, Iris, you're safe. Ash. Eggplant seeds. Ash, you're picking up some interesting things I'm going to have to play with. Alia, do you have anything for my wild rice? You do. You have five of them. I need those. Thank you, darling. All right, so yeah, we'll be going on an expedition to gather up some proper plants for our little, our little, little birds pretty soon. I just want to compare, like, what Ben's doing to what we could do. All right, we really are making a little rice patty. <gasps> so exciting. 
All right, and actually, if we're going on an expedition, I'm gonna go ahead and pop our dogs. Do do one. And I guess sunflower too? Should we bring sunflower as well? I think we'll go by foot because plant collecting expeditions, at least at first, are easier by foot. I don't know if we have anywhere. There we go, puppies are secure. I don't know if we actually have anywhere, now that I think of it, that um, is like a jungle. Did we find a jungle? Still so new to this world and trying to remember all of the cool places that are out there and cool places that we could go. So we might, we'll, we'll figure it out. First we'll figure out what kind of plants we need and then we'll work from there. All right, now upstairs we go and I need to make a zip line to be able to get down to those exhibits pretty quickly. I think that would be fun. All right, there we are. Or maybe just like put something on the teleportation penguin. That might work. All right, coffee beans, tea, celery, various plant items that we eat go in there and edible roots go in there. Oh, and the wild rice, of course go in there. Oh, thank you so much, Carlos. That's another dodo egg. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope they have good results for Anasia when we finally put it in there. All right, and here's one from Martha. Thank you so much, Martha. And then I'm going to go over to my little, my little closet where I throw everything. And we're going to chuck this stuff in here. Going to keep the oakwood plank just in case I need it. Don't need that. Don't need that. Probably need that. Need this. What did I just say I was going to put on the to-do list? Make a bow. There we go. Make Tinker's bow. Because I'm pretty sure, can we make a bow with Tinker's? I know you can make arrows with Tinker's. Yeah, look at this. Look at all the extra stuff you can do with Tinker's. That would be amazing. Oh, that would be so cool. Cobalt short bow, cactus short bow. That would be awesome to fight with. Slime, alumite short bow reinforced. Extra strength, stone bound. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll deal with that in the future. All right, so I've got a little bit of food. And I think we're set to go. Oh, 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 I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to dump all of this into the plant sorting system really fast. Including the edible things, because we'll just, we'll, the system will sort it for me. All right, so let's go ahead. I love this chest, because what you do is you just throw everything into the chest including, let's see, Lily's backpack and my backpack. And then all you have to do is just open this up and the only thing you have to worry about is just getting the plants out. Very efficient system. Open this up, throw everything in here, and then it'll all sort it for me later. And then I get my stuff back out. Ta-da! Very nice. Very nice, easy system. I love it. And we can turn it on later, but let me see really quickly if there's anything. There's some desert plants in here, and here's some, like, of the scaly tree ferns that'll go down into the Confucius Birds exhibit. Um, and when we come to bamboo, ferns, vines, and ground covers, what do we have in here? Not a lot just yet. Mostly ground cover, actually. So I really don't have any ferns. Yeah, I really don't have any ferns yet that we could put in the exhibit. So a plant expedition is on the list. All right, and we've got some puppies with us. Hello, Jude. I hope you're having a good day. Let's go over to the teleportation penguin, and let's go check out what's going on in Ben's area. Dun 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 dun, dun. There's his chocobo. Wild chocobo roaming. I think the chocobo are mostly for feeding to dinosaurs, but it happens. All right, so his home is awesome, and I've been given permission to roam amongst it and around it. And I think if I remember correctly, um, man, look at those cherry blossoms, beautiful ivy, I love it. If I remember correctly, the Confucius bird area is actually at the back of his house. So, eh, 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 eh. how do I, doors? Like that? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, close the doors behind me. You can see he built it in like Japanese architecture style. Totally awesome. All right. Yeah, are you guys back there? Pardon me, pardon me. Are you guys back there? I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be in the back garden maybe, but I'm not sure. All right, well, let's close this. How's the Titan, like, oh, look at it. It's the little eating room, isn't it awesome? Oh, so cool. All right, well, I won't poke around too much more. It'd be rude. It feels rude. Is that stuff I gave him? No! Man, he's got some fun stuff. Oh, that's diamond stuff. 
Not, I was like, man, he's got a lot of steel leaf. No, it's diamond. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Where would his little birds be? Another portal. Are you guys back here? I need to check your exhibit out. You were in a different exhibit before. Are they in here? I know somebody was in here. Man, this is so pretty. He might have moved them. He might have built a proper exhibit for them. So we'll go check out some of his dinosaur exhibits. Isn't it glorious? I mean, isn't it just beautiful? Look at this. It really is just so pretty. All right, we'll close this. All right, so it might be in some of the actual proper dinosaur exhibits. So we'll go visit those real fast. Well, I might as well get the dogs out. Do, 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 do. Puppies! Ash, Iris, Alia, welcome! We're visiting our good friend Ben's home. Don't pee on anything, please. I guess he doesn't have dogs, though, so they wouldn't, they wouldn't have anyone to compete with uh, establishing territory with. All right, so let's climb on up. If I can find my way up. Look at all the wildflowers. Ooh, almost fell down there. All right, little slime island. Looks really cool in the distance. All right, don't panic, puppies. I will find my way up. But... Yeah, he's got some dinosaur exhibits up here that you guys might enjoy seeing. And there's the big giant canyon. Isn't it so cool? Look at it. Look at it. That waterfall, those lava falls. We were stunned when we saw that. <gasps> Look at all the ferns down there. Oh my gosh. We'll have to go collect some ferns from over there because that's perfect. And here we go. Some of the exhibits. So let's see if I can find the right one. I haven't visited too often just yet. Anybody in here? No one in here. They're really big. <gasps> Hi, little guys. This is your exhibit, huh? Hi, babies. I like this mix. I rem oh, oh my. They make some fun noises. I know. Oh, whoa. Yeah, don't go in there, guys. <laughs> I like this. I like this mix of, like, two different types of, like, okay, this is a block. So this is carpenters. And a wide block. Here's clear glass panes. Here's some wood, cherry wood. All right. See, I think his looks so much more finished to me because he uses more types of blocks. So I'll try to experiment with doing that in the future. All right. And I don't know where all of his little ones went. There's a cow farm. Oh, look, he's growing some grapes. That is so cool. There's the grapes. I think I hear the little compies or the gallimimus. But yeah, I think his Confucius birds were supposed to be inside this aviary over here like behind his house and they're not so hmm well oops pardon me I'm just gonna make a little bed real fast we'll sleep through the night do do do, -do. Ba -dunk. so we'll sleep through the night and then we'll go check some of the other exhibits and I'll double check that aviary because I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be in the aviary all right whoops so let's go down and see what they're up to maybe if we come down from this angle even though it's a really weird thing to like walk across the treetops. I could get more of a view of what should be in there. Alright, come on puppies. Yep, good dogs. I love how they don't question it. They're just like, okay mom. And follow after me. Yeah, I don't see. I see how tall this is. I see why he, he said I need to make mine taller. Because I do. Um, well guys. Be careful there dogs. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Iris, are you okay? I'm glad they didn't blow anything up. Ha! Everyone's always teasing me about mobs spawning in my house, huh? Hmm. I don't see any of the birds, though. I'll have to ask him. He might have them in, in quarantine. But I'm pretty sure this is where they are from. And it's got a nice big pool, so I should assume that mine can have water in their exhibit. And it's got a lot of really big areas, and I like the touch of the, the ground that we've got going on here. So ours is really small compared to this, and it makes me want to make my, my aviary a lot bigger. So that might be something we'll take away from this. Good job, Ash. Stick your head through the door. That's fine. So we might take away from visiting Ben's place that we need to make our aviary bigger. All right, so now we're going to go across the river real quick. Blink! And I'll just give you guys a peek at the other amazing things that he's working on. Look at that tropical little, like, garden grow. I love these things. All right, what we have over here is a small geishal farm, and, pardon me, pigu, and a couple chocobo. So not too many chocobo in here just yet. I have no idea what that block is supposed to be. So that's interesting. 
All right, clearly there's some planning going on for more exhibits. Like I said, just a quick peek. Yeah, look at that guy. Look at them, there's a couple of them in there. Oh my gosh, they look beautiful. The Jurassic Craft animations are really, really nice. So we will be adding in more dinosaurs in the future. Let's see, oh man, look at how pretty this is. And we're gonna jump over here. <gasps> look at them! It's the little plants, look at them! It's the, oh, I gotta be so gentle and so careful. But this, this most definitely is a nice small little garden for the ancient plants. I really like it. Look at these. Are those the new Srirachas? Oh my gosh. Okay, I really like it. I really like this guy especially. I want to find some of these guys, these tall guys, to put into our exhibit with our animals. But for now, I, I will just have to collect normal ferns. I wonder who's in here. Somebody might not be in here yet, but I really like the mix of the stone and the sand. So I don't think anyone's in here yet, but it looks like it's getting set up to be. And look at the cool way the, the little, like, uh, river branches, the little creek branches. So I like it. I like it. All right, there's clearly work going on over here. So I won't peek too much more, but man, am I envious of this garden. I want, I want more plants. I want more prehistoric plants. So I'm pretty excited about that. But all right, guys. So that's a good peek at Ben's beautiful cherry blossoms and everything that he's got going on in his territory. And I think we might sneak over that away just a little bit. And we'll see if we can get away from his territory a wee bit and start gathering up some ferns. So ferns and maybe finding a jungle. I can't remember off the top of my head. Hmm. Yeah, we've got Swan Lake, but I don't see a jungle. So we might need to go looking for a jungle pretty soon. Because a jungle will give us some more of the plants that we need to add into our little Confucius bird exhibit. <gasps> Ferns! They're already here! But we're going to keep moving so that we're a little bit further away from his territory. So what is this biome? The Canyon Ravine. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, and we're heading off into the wilderness! Oh, this is so exciting! It's a big adventure again! Oh my gosh, look at all these! Look at all these ferns! Oh, they're so pretty! I love it! I love it! I love it! So, where does the canyon ravine go around? Oops, I'm hungry. Some cranberry juice. Nice and tart and perfect for just kind of relaxing out in the wilderness like this. Hmm. Alright, if we go over here, you'd probably be okay with me starting to steal some ferns from over here. Ferns! Maidenhair spleen wart! Wonderful! So all of these little ferns, that's what we're after. And the good thing is they're plant mega pack uh, ferns, so they might propagate on us while we gather them, which would be wonderful. And I can put them all over our Confucius bird exhibit and save up the other ferns in the plant sorting system for any of our future exhibits too. Any of you guys who have been with us for a while know that these little plant expeditions are some of the most adventurous fun that we can possibly have. And by taking the time to gather up the resources, it lets us put together exhibits really quickly in the future. All right, we'll just kind of plunk along. I don't want to completely deforest any specific area. So we'll just keep moving. Hi, little guys. We might have a good start already on some of the maidenhair and sword ferns. This is awesome. I did not expect to run across ferns this easily or this fast. I mean, they really are pretty much everywhere. <gasps> What's this? This is burried. Okay. I was hoping it was more wild rice and I was totally going to collect it, but it is not. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, is this actually... When he said he lived really close to the little, like, desert... The desert town, he really meant it. Look how close this was to the desert town. This is awesome. I wonder if these guys have better trades than the villagers that I have. Let's see. I have Ender. Not bad. Hello, sir. Paper! See, I could work with a librarian who trades paper. I definitely could work with that. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Hello, everyone! Oh my gosh, why are you all stuck? They're stuck again. This happens from time to time. Uh, I wonder if I can just, like, reach in and be like, Excuse me! I just want to know what your trades are for future reference. Oh, glowstone. Not as much as Matt, though. Clay pattern stamp. Let's see. Heads. What about you, sir? Okay, still talking to the glowstone person. Really? Alia? Ash? You have a little bit a little bit of Tate in, in your personalities, don't you? I'm, there's a pond of water. They're immediately going to jump in and fish in it. That's adorable. Alright, so let's see... 
Yeah, lots of villagers. The guardsman is running around. And, of course, there's the teleporter, run teleporter runner, so we can get back home. So that's actually really nifty. Oh, Iris, what the heck did you do to yourself? Questions, Iris. Questions about what the heck you're doing. You know what I mean? All right, here you guys. Go ahead and eat. Get something to eat. I'm going to check in on the villagers again really quickly. Just to make sure that we're not missing anything. Hmm. It would actually... In fact, I'm going to go ahead and gather up the wheat. Hmm. Make me speak some villagees to these guys. Are you guys going to let me in? Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Let's try coming in from the back over here. Uh, I should make like a little gate so it's easier to get in and out. There we go. I can actually speak with some of you now. Alright. Don't want villager heads. I do need to gather up emeralds. Ooh, what's this? An unbreaking sword enchantment. Okay. Um, switch track. Okay, okay. A bunch of tinkers. Why does no one trade anything useful anymore? I don't mean to insult all of you. Alright, let's see. Still talking to the, the one guy. There we go. Essence of dinosaurs to feed to the dinosaurs to make them grow. Essence of, essence of chicken, I should say. Not essence of dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, rubber saplings. Tinker. Yeah, there's not really... I was hoping one of these farmers might be willing to trade for wheat, but I don't think they are. Alright. There you go, guys. Alright, so yeah, no no willing trades for wheat. I'm going to gather up the wheat right now, though, because it's used to make flour, and we always, always, always need more flour. That sounds weird, but it is true. We always need more flour for cooking and baking, and if we wanted to make, like, really fun cakes or recipes to give our friends, we need to have more flour. But let's see. So after this, I think we'll head on home. And then maybe tomorrow we'll have to just jump on sunflower. In fact, I think that's what we'll do. Today the dog's got to come with us, but tomorrow we will jump on the back of sunflower and we will start adventuring and exploring to try to find some of the rainforest plants that we need. So that's, that's our next goal, is rainforest plants and sunflower. And, oh my gosh, I think, yeah, I think after we finish up, with our little Confucius bird exhibits. What we will do is the chameleon exhibit, the reptile house. We'll start that. I, we might have multiple reptile houses this time. So we'll start one of the reptile houses and we will work with more, dun -dun -dun, more chameleons. In fact, while we're on Sunflower's back, that'll be one of our goals is we can kind of head towards Alex's swamp. In fact, we might even teleport straight to it and just take a very quick peek at his house if that's okay. And then we will look for more chameleons in the gardens that he has. Because that is just so awesome. And if we had more emeralds, I could get more reusable safari nuts so we could catch like a bazillion chameleons. But we don't. Also, what the heck is this? It's a beet! A beet for beet soup! Oh, that's so cool! Beet soup is yummy in my opinion. So let's go ahead and gather up some fresh beets. Oh, I love collecting new things! Yay! And we still have two spare seeds left over because the beets weren't done. Whoops. Yay! <laughs> but alright, guys. Whoops. Ouch. Yeah, that's fine, Siri. Just run through a cactus. That's fine. I'm going to gather up our puppies, and then I will see you guys bright and early in the morning tomorrow when we will jump on Sunflower's back, and we will go and try to find... Uh, poor Iris. We will go and try to find some new areas that have rainforest in them and gather up some rainforest plants and more ferns and keep our eyes peeled for more chameleons. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.